So what I discussed uh, in last class, that is on Friday. On Friday, we discussed about we discussed about these are the topics, right? If you go and see the headings, we discussed about these are the topics. Number one, we discussed. Number one, we discussed how to create the work repository, and we discussed we discussed how to create the master and work repository using RCU. And also we discussed creating the RLA tech database in that one source database as well as target database. These all things we have chance to learn. These all things we have chance to learn. Today we need to understand one important concept that is called as topology. That is called as creating and managing topology. Under this one we are going to understand what you mean by physical architecture. What you mean by physical architecture. What do you mean by logical architecture? What do you mean by contest? What do you mean by contest? These are the three topics what are going to aware of it. Let us say I am going for first one that is called as creating and managing topology. Let me click on that one. Then it is saying as first point, the Oracle data integrator topology is the physical and logical representation of the Oracle data integrator architecture and components. Right. What is the meaning of this one is, what is the meaning of this one is, let us say if I am trying to open our ODI, this is what I have opened. Now I am trying to connect to the repository, click on connect to the repository. Then if people are aware of it, what is the connection you created uh, last class? B107, this is what the connection what you created. And click on the supervisor and supervisor here, what is the, uh, what is the repository you are connecting? Work repository are connecting, click on OK. Click on OK. Now we can observe here, we got here B107, it is trying to connect it. Once it is connected, once it is connected, then, then you can go and observe in the topology tab, we have two options, one is called as physical architecture, second is logical architecture, third is called as contest. Suppose I am going to the topology, in the topology we can see here, this is what called as physical architecture and logical architecture and contest and logical architecture and physical architecture mediator is who contest is a mediator contest is a mediator physical architecture is nothing but i can say your database terms sir your database terminology your database terminology we are going to use in that one logical architecture is nothing but odi terminology odi terminology we are going to use if you are using ODA terminology here, then these two things has to communicate means you should have some kind of mediator. The mediator is user, contest is the mediator, contest is the mediator. Okay, that's what first point is given here. The Oracle Data Integrated Topology is the physical and logical representation of the ODA architecture and components. ODA architecture and components. First point. Creating physical architecture, how to create the physical architecture. From yesterday's class, you are already aware of one point. That point is called as, I am opening your SQL developer, click on SQL developer. Click on SQL developer. In SQL developer, we have your source. What is your source database name, sir? Yesterday what you created? Yesterday you created your source database inside the SCART schema, inside the SCART schema. Let us go and try to see it inside the SCART schema. I have the source. Inside that one, I have the all the required tables are available. All the required tables are available. If you go and see the tables, these are the tables whatever available. These tables down the line, I am going to use as a source. These tables down the line, I am going to use as a source. Similarly, I have target also. What are the targets are you created? What are the target you created? B107. This is what the connection you created here, ODA, repository connection information, B107, right? I hope you created the target also, B107 TDBU only, right? Then B107 TDB is available here? It's not available. Yesterday what you created, given the name, B107 TDB only? Okay. Now let me go and try to create the connection, B107 TDBU, B107 TDBU. Then I need to provide your username, the username also what sir? B107 TDBU. The password is RR capital I take small 123. Save this password and provide the database name as ORCL. 
try to save it click on test it test is also success click on connect this one i am going to use as a target this one i am going to use as a target now here i have some tables which are going to use it as a dimension tables fact tables these all things are as a targets and here i have some table these all things i am going to use as a source tables the source and target i need to configure under the physical architecture how to configure it that's what we are going to learn today right let us go for the next line let us go for the next line the physical architecture defines the different elements of the information system as well as their characteristics taken into the account by oracle data integrator each type of database it may be oracle or db2 or some file formatted thing or any application software is represented in oracle data integrator by what sir technology simply database is called as what sir technology database is called as technology oracle database is called as oracle technology sql server database is called as sql server technology that's what if you go and see here let us say i am expanding physical architecture these all things are what sir technologies under technologies you can see here we have all our databases let us say hbase hadoop database okay hive okay hadoop hive this is now we have here hyperion hbase and we have here let us say netiza database oracle database and similarly if you go and see here cybase database teradata database everything is available everything is available so a database is called as basically a technology a database called as technology so in odi a database is known as technology that is what the first point then let us say the physical components that stores and expose structured data are defined as data servers data servers what is the meaning of data server is let us say using oracle database can i create n number of databases i can create or not sir suppose you install the oracle software you install the oracle software i have here one option that is called as database configuration assistant did you think about this option any time if i click on this option if i click on the database configuration assistant what you can do it right before that i would like to ask one question let us say i given oracle software to your hand sir you installed in our cpu at the time of installation only software installation option is available or not sir you installed it or we may install only software as well as what sir one database also software and what sir one database also you installed it suppose in the same cpu using same software i want to develop one more database i want to develop is it possible or not possible using one oracle software installation can i develop n number of databases or not n number of databases or not answer is what sir yes that is possible if you see this wizard is doing that job only i am trying to create what sir a database i am trying to create if you want to delete the existing database you can delete it if you want to create the new database you can create it so using one oracle software installation you can create n number of databases n number of databases and each database each database in our terminology is called as data server is called as data server oracle software is called as what sir oracle technology sql server software is called as sql server technology using oracle software whatever database i created the database is called as data server the database is called as data server am i clear you can you can write on small table we can write on small table somewhere what is the table i want is what is the table i want is left side right as left side right as database terms and corresponding what sir oda terms oda terms suppose here we have the oracle software oracle software we are calling it as what sir here oracle technology right oracle technology then second is let us say i want to give the equal terminology is let us say oracle oracle database database oracle database is called as what sir here data 
server data server if you want to write the example here example you people are aware of it varsil is the database name yes or no varsil is the example for data server next one i am taking here let us say a table a table schema is called as here also schema only sir schema is there right here also it is called as schema only there is no other term then table is called as what sir data store data store schema examples means i can say scott then tdbu etc and data stores table name examples means let us say emp table dp table etc and next one is available let us say column column the column is called as here what's an attribute the column is called as attribute let us say that is emp number comma e name comma etc this is what the terminology between there is a terminology between general terminology and our oda terminology general terminology and our oda terminology okay that point is very clear for us done now let us go and try to see here next point let us go and try to see here next point that is called as a data server is always linked to a single technology yes or no sir suppose you have developed here one database the database is known as oracle can you develop half of the database using sql server half of the database using oracle database like that is it possible no one database you cannot create half of the database using the oracle oracle software half of the database using sql server software the reason any one data server if i am telling that server will be belongs to only one technology not the multiple technology similarly oracle i am telling oracle is belongs to what database sir oracle database okay right now that's all the first point a data server stores information according to according to specific technology logic which is declared into the physical schemas attached to this data server and each data server what it is going to support the data types those all things also unique sir i mean to say if i go and select here oracle by default it is supporting what sir these are the data types it is going to support it and it is going to support these are the indexes it is going to support same thing if we go and observe let us say sql server i am going to observe microsoft or sir sql server this is going to support these are the database data types and index are only two index are there one is what sir non unique and second is what sir unique here what is there sir out on top of it bitmap also available that means each database what exactly it is supporting those things is going to list out here you are not doing any hard work it is a software a software functionality itself it is going to give you what the database is going to support those all things by default is going to give to you fine that's what next point fourth point what i want to talk about next process how to create this beautiful physical architecture whatever available i have here i have here one thing that is called as what sir what is the database name oracle is my database name under oracle i have the sources this is a source and i have the target is this is a target is available how to configure the source and target i need to understand this is my target this is my source this is my source this is my target both my source and target in fact here available in a single database it is available that is called as oracle in reality sometimes in reality sometimes what will have not sometimes most of the times source is what's a different database target is what's a different database in my case i don't have two database here that is the reason under one database only i created two schemas one schema i am using as a source one schema i am using as a target one schema i am using as a source one schema i am using as a target right how to configure this one into our oda very simple 
Open the ODA Studio, go to ODA menu, click on connect, select login name as RRA Tech, in your case your batch number, click on edit, under work repository section, select work repository, RRA Tech dev work repository, in our case it is, yesterday you created B107 DWR, development work repository you created, click on test, click on ok, click on ok, like this you are going to select these all things. Now click on the topology tab then go to the new data server right click on the oracle click on new data server as shown here right click on oracle new data server in definitions tab provide below information like what is the name whatever name you want to provide you can provide it then where it is installed here I given local host but in reality you need to give the IP address of the IP address of the database where it is installed our network name of the database where it is installed we need to provide it we need to provide it then username is always you need to provide your admin user id so that all the schemas it is going to access it next one is in jdbc tab provide below information this is what the we are providing it then click on test connection click on test click on ok close it with this i completed creating what sir creating the data server creating the data server Shall we go and do this one? Right. Let us say I am going to the I am going to the ODA here. Let us say I am going to the topology tab. In the topology, right click on what sir? Oracle. As of now, under the Oracle, nothing is available. Only data types, actions, index types. I am trying to create one thing. What do you want to create, sir? New data server. New data server. Click on that new data server, then we got one, one window, there it is asking what is the name. Any name you can provide, your batch number is B107, then ORCL, so I am providing that one. Then I have here technology, by default technology came Oracle, why? Because you right clicked on the Oracle only. Then we need to go for the instance or DB link. My instance is localhost is the computer, localhost is the my instance. Why? Because on the same machine I installed the database also. Username, username, you need to write here, admin username, then RR capital, ITC small, 1, 2, 3. Now click on JDBC connection, provide a JDBC driver by clicking on this one, provide a JDBC URL by clicking on that one, provide here local host, then then 1521 then ORCL now once you provide these all things whatever you return that is correct or not it is working or not how, how to understand test connection click on S yes. click on OK click on what is a test what is saying successfully connected click on OK click on here finally close this one then you can come to understand here one thing is created that is known as data server this is known as data server under data server I want to create for source corresponding one schema and target corresponding one schema how to create is just simply right click on this one there I have one option that is known as new physical schema that's what I am suggesting here creating physical schemas right click on RR tech war sale click on new physical schema and please provide the name whatever you want it even actually strictly speaking name you need not provide anything sir automatically it is going to take if you provide the schema names here automatically it is going to take the name then here we have an important parameter that is known as work schema the schema means you understand this one you are going to use down the line as what sir source down the line source what about this work schema do I have the specified staging area in ODA sir dedicated staging area is available in ODA no but in runtime it may require some temporary tables right where it is going to create the temporary tables in the inverser in work schema whatever you are providing it recommended is if work schema if you use dedicated work schema it is good dedicated work schema means create one schema separately and try to use that schema as a dedicated work so that there is a best practice so that there is a best practice okay as of now if you go and see here 
using defined schema, using dedicated schema as a work schema is your sir best practice. Let us go and try to create that one. Right click on this one, then go for new physical schema. Then name we need not provide here automatically. That is going to take it. Then provide what is the name, sir? Scott. And what is the work schema? You can provide any other thing. You can provide or you can provide the same thing also. But always using what, sir? Dedicated one is the best practice. I am giving the Scott. Scott. Click on S. Right. With this, I completed creating one physical schema is completed. One more thing I require for the target purpose. Let us right click. What are the targets, sir? B107 TDBU and for this also work schema I am giving same work schema I am giving click on save it you completed two schemas you completed one is called as card second is called as TDBU second is called as TDBU now with this I done with this I done this part next is what sir logical architecture logical architecture means ODA terminology sir totally it is ODA terminology now, the logical architecture allows a user to identify as a single logical schema a group of similar physical schemas that is containing data stores that are structurally identical but located in different physical locations. Anything you understand? No, right? How to create dedicated schema? Actually, how you created the TDB schema, sir, to store the target tables? Similarly like that. Create user, some username identified by some password. Then grant the permissions. What are schema you created? The schema provided here. You got it? Okay. Right. Suppose if you want to create the dedicated schema means I can do that one. Let us say I am going to the SQL plus. Then slash yes sys dba. Then I am trying to create a user, create user, your batch number is B107, this is a dedicated schema, so I am giving it, or let us say work, work, work schema, right, give the same name, work, work schema. then grant DBA to B107 work schema now same name whatever available we going to try to provide in the ODI here if you want to provide it Scott there I am providing B107 work schema sorry some of the windows undo option is not going to work sir that's what even though I am typing undo here it is not happened now here we have the start schema here also I am creating the work schema so very simple our schema is nothing but what's an empty schema we are going to create it that empty schema we are going to provide it of course in this one as of now any tables are available sir now nothing tables are available even in runtime also nothing table will be available maybe one or two tables occasionally is going to create when it is going to create a compression down the line suppose now connecting to what sir b107 then We don't have any tables. We don't have any tables. Right. We created these two things we created. Next is what, sir? We need to create the logical. I said logical is, logical is only one thing is available, physical, sir, and number of things are available. If I say source, that's it. Only, only one logical source is available. For this, you may be data may be coming from MS Excel, SQL Server, Oracle. At that moment, you need to create what are three physical schemas you need to create. Three physical architectures you need to create. However, we are going to create only one logical architecture. Only one logical architecture. 
Suppose observe this diagram once. Observe this di diagram once. Development site. This is available where, sir, in New York. Suppose I am doing some kind of. Suppose I am doing some kind of. Let us say some real estate business I am doing. Okay, this is a development site is available in New York. Let us say this is a production site something. This is what, sir, in Tokyo. This is some site. This is available in the Bosta. Okay, here also I have the sales sales information only available. Let us say. This is what the physical architecture we are creating dedicatedly for each and everything is what, sir. Separate, separate I created and contracts also separate, separate available. However, however, these all things are integrated into what, sir, sales. That means only logical thing is what, sir. Only one thing is available. Correspondingly, physical things, sir, n number of things will be available. Other words, I can say, I can say, let us say. you have the data like this suppose here i have the data that is available in the oracle database this is our one of the source and we have here one more thing let us say sql server database this is also one of our source you need to create two physical schemas you need to create this is the one physical schema one this is the one physical schema two why because technologies are different here But logical schema is what, sir? Only logical schema is only one thing we are going to create. This is called as your logical schema. This is called as your logical schema. Logical schema is only one physical schema, sir. N number. Fine. That point is very clear. Now I want to create one logical schema. How I can create the logical schema, sir? Here, let us say expand here logical architecture, then technologies. Which database corresponding logical schema, sir? or i can right click then go for new logical schema now i am giving the name as let's say your batch number b107 source that's it source is the one logical schema click on save it then close it similarly i want to create one more logical schema for the target right similarly we need to create one more logical schema for the target right click on this one then go for new logical schema and give the name as b107 B one not seven target. Save it. So we have chance to complete that also. We have chance to complete that also. So now I have your source as well as I have your target is available. Now, how this the source and here what our source you create in the physical architecture you create one source right? How these two things are going to communicate, sir? This one, whatever available and whatever available here, these two things, how it is going to com communicate by using context. That's what we are going to learn next one. Next one, let us say, see this one. Last class lecture that is very simple. We went here, right click in this one, new physical schema, physical schema is completed. Last class lecture also similar way, right click and we created the new last class schema is done. Then creating what sir context. What is context? Context brings together what together, sir? Physical architecture, then logical architecture. Both the things is going to bringing together. Both the things is going to bringing together. For example, context may correspond to different execution environment. Context may corresponding to different execution environment. So, anyone ask in interview one question: How many contexts are available in our uh, project? How many contexts will available? Sir, any guesses? Hmm? Yeah, three is the correct answer. Why three, sir? Development is the one one enrollment. Testing is the one enrollment. Production is the one enrollment. For each enrollment wise, we have one contest. For each enrollment wise, we have one contest. For development enrollment, whatever sources are available, whatever targets are available. the sources and targets are com communicated using this development context using this development context development context may have n number of source systems n number of target systems but these two things are communicating using the context using the context okay that point is very clear for us let us go and try to create that beautiful context how to create that context here by default one context is came whenever you trying to create the work repository sir 
you want to create one one contest means how to create it let us go for new then i have here new contest then i need to provide here a name i am providing the name as okay dev development or give the full name development and each and every object in our thing is going to identify it by one thing that is called as our sir code down the line this name if you changing also nothing to worry but don't change what sir code don't change it if you change the code it is a, uh, some kind of references we are going to miss it references we are going to miss it and if you cl click on save it then development is came suppose if i create one more contest if i create the same name development will it accept or not accept sir but but code is what sir code is different but name is what sir same if i click on save it is going to accept or not accept it is accepted that means system is identifying the objects based on the name or based on the code based on the code only as long as the codes are different system will allow that object no problem now in my case i am trying to delete this one it is not required one thing i am deleting it i delete it now did you notice any difference between these two icons sir any difference is there yes means what is the difference what is the difference some kind of check box check box is available right this check box indicates let us say right click and open that check box indicates here one property that property is what sir default contest used by agents suppose you don't want to make this as default you want to make this as default then what you can do right click on this one open select this one do you want to use this contest development by default answer is what sir yes click on yes and did you notice there or not here we have one beautiful option that is called as what sir password that is called as password what is the advantage normally we won't be putting password for development and testing environment but production is what sir we are going to put the uh, password also why because suppose some uh, one year experienced guy came and is running the running the one mapping by mistake he selected the production you don't want to select the production actually you want to select the development only by mistake select the production you click on the run what will happen sir production data is going to be disturbed at that moment even though you selected the production you clicking on the run it is asking the password please provide the password means then what will happen sir if you don't know as you don't know password that is the reason you cannot provide it so there is no chance of there is no chance of doing mistakes in the production environment that is the reason i recommend to provide the password at least for the production environment at least for the production environment okay right as of now i am not providing any any uh, password let us uh, click on close this one now we have here two contests however which is the by default contest it is going sir development is a by default contest which is going and go and say, try to see this diagram for example contest may correspond to different execution environments development test and what sir production as of now only one thing you created so contest contest connects logical to physical what is the advantage of contest it is a mediator between logical and physical now logical architecture is logical architecture there we have the contest this is this whatever we have available here this is called as your logical name logical name i can compare with my thing means i can compare what is the logical thing you created sir just now just now you created logical thing what do you created b107 source b107 target these things are sitting here then contest is what sir development and physical architecture is what sir your sources i can i can say this is nothing but b107 source this is a contest is development i created this is what sir scott is the physical architecture this scott and b107 source are communicating using what development still not communicating actually you need to make that communication how to make that communication is if you go and see the oda there i have the contest you created just now right expand that contest that means open that contest right click and open there we have an option the option is called as schema option once you selected the schema option there i have b107 source 
under the physical scheme also you can go and you can select years card under this one you can go and you can select what sir target now let us go and try to let us go and try to step out step out means what sir selecting another row select any another row then click on the save why because if you have if your cursor is available in the same row if you click on the save sometimes it won't save properly that is the reason step out step out means click somewhere else other rows then click on save option here then we saved it so using your development context using your development context this physical and logical things are things are communicating this logical and physical things are communicating is it clear so now you people understand what is the advantage of context here okay let us move on to the next one then process is done these all things are done we have here one concept is available we are going to discuss down the line more clearly agent agent is useful to run over all the things and language is also similar to that one uh, we, we want to we want to uh, write some kind of extraordinary code you want to write it extraordinary code you want to write it using the groove language java language jaitan sap sql sql file you can write it any of this also come to understand down the line as of now agents and languages these things keep side why we given one one point over there is why because agent what we are seeing here and language what we are seeing here there is reason i given that point but we will discuss that one down the line let us say next one is available that is called as creating a model creating model now source database connection is there target database connection is there those things i need to import here or not sir source tables and target tables you need to import here how we can import it what is the process for that one right first point is available that point is called as models are the objects that will store the metadata in oda what is model sir model is a oda object that is storing which metadata oda metadata it is going to store it that means table names sorry more sir obviously that will store the words the metadata in oda the metadata of what the metadata of database source database it may be our target database it may be down the line we are going to see that one next they contain a description of a relational data model it is a group of what sir data store data store is also known as table stored in a given schema on a given technology so model is going to work on top of what sir schema that means i mean to say let us say i am trying to create one model here in the designer i have here option called as models let us say i am creating one new model this new model is expecting as input is what sir this new model is expecting input is what sir logical schema so model is going to work on top of model is going to work on top of what sir on top of logical schema it is going to work it it is going to take inputs inputs into the model now we people understand that point then next point a model typically contains metadata reverse engineered from the real data model that is known as database flat file xml file cobol here reverse engineering is nothing but simple words i can say importing reverse engineering is nothing but sir importing a table from database is called as reverse engineering importing a tables or multiple tables from database is called as reverse engineering okay next one database models can be designed in oda the appropriate dedls can then be generated by oda for all necessary environments development qa and what sir for dedl means what sir creating statements right create statements uh, the create statements means table create you want to do it that is called as one dedl command whatever dedls are required is going to generate it next reverse engineering is an automated process to retrieve metadata to create or update a model in the oda so we are getting the metadata from the database like employee table i want department table i want you can go and you can get it right reverse engineering is also known as rkm rkm stands for reverse engineering knowledge model down the line you come to understand what is that if you go to the projects there i have here new project i am creating let us say abc or something else then you can go and you can observe here i have the knowledge models is a one term there i have the reverse engineering knowledge model rkm okay why we are saying that one is let us say if i go to the model if i given some name here 
லாஜிக்கல் ஸ்கீமா இட் இஸ் சேவ் இட் திஸ் ஒன் okay new model then what sir some name and select the technology technology is what sir oracle then we have here source is b107 source now once you selected the source here i have one option called as what sir reverse engineering then st standard and what sir customize two types what is the use of this one if i select this option this option what you are seeing sir these are all are tables dept bonus emp these all things are coming from where coming from where sir coming from your scart schema how it is able to communicate with the scart how it is able to communicate with the scart why because if you go and see it is communicating with what sir b107 so this is our logical schema name this logical schema name is pointing to what sir it is pointing to the scart schema that's how i am getting the tables you are getting my point yes or no this model whatever i am showing here model this model is working on top of what this logical schema this logical schema is mapped with what is a physical schema this is a physical schema that's how we are seeing those all tables we are going to do that one now next one reverse engineering is two types one is called as standard second is called as customized that's what i shown here two options i shown here one is called as standard second is called as here if you go and see here standard and what sir customized if you see here standard if you see here standard these are the options are there customized means you need to observe here one option is extra key in that option is what sir knowledge mode this option is not there whenever i selected the standard right so if you want to import the tables using customized method if you want to import the tables using customized method compulsory you should have what sir knowledge module should be there we are going to understand both the methods down the line don't worry now as of now i am going for the what you mean by standard how it is going to differ from the customized standard is nothing but uses jdbc connectivity features to retrieve metadata then writes it to the odi repository requires what sir a suitable driver a suitable driver is required for this one so if you go and see here this is what the process this is my odi then this oracle data integrator studio studio it is going and trying to contact the table directly that is data model table directly using what driver sir jdbc that is called as standard reverse engineering whatever table is available here the table is going to import here using this process what whatever table is available the table is going to import here second one customized means what see here customized means what it is saying sir it's contacting system tables not directly the table it's contacting system table system table means what sir if you go and see the tab tab inside the tab tab all the table names are registered or not tab tab is called as oracle system table oracle system table without jdbc driver means you need to go for the customize directly it will go to the system tables from system tables it is going to import the tables here that is the difference what is the difference if proper jdbc is available then we'll go for here proper jdbc is not available we'll go for customize proper jdbc is not available let us say some of the examples means s base there is no proper jdbc connectivity at that moment we'll go for our sir customized method right let us move on to the next one some other methods of reverse engineering are suppose i have here some fixed format cobol file is available or some delimited file is available these all files we are going to do with the file specific reverse engineering some other methods of reverse engineering are delimited format reverse engineering fixed format reverse engineering xml file reverse engineering reverse engineering is incremental what do you mean by incremental word suppose one table is already available one table is already available then what and we imported this table one month back after you imported the table your database administrator added one column deleted one column updated some column if you go and if you reimport it it is going to do what sir 
whatever changes are available only those changes will be incorporated means new metadata is added and old metadata is what sir removed whatever new is available that will be added old will be removed and whatever the updates are available the updates also will be updated suppose previously data type data type size as 20 now it is 40 it will be reflected 40 only now now process is how to import this one very simple go to the designer navigator click on new model folder name it as RRI tech model we are creating one model folder uh, first then right click on the RRI tech model folder click on new model name it as RRI tech model we are creating that one then similarly we need to create one more thing also then we are trying to create the model right we provide is all information then we are trying to import those all things like this we are we done with the, with this shall we go and do that one right right so under models as of now nothing is available under projects also nothing is available nothing is available now I am going to the models there I want to create one new model folder I want to create let me give the name as RRITEC underscore model underscore folder then click on save it close it we have the model folder inside the model folder do I have the source model and target model two models we need to create right let us go and try to create the two models right click on this one or you can go for the year again and you can create it right click and go for new model the new model is I am creating this one for the source purpose so I am giving the same name B107 then underscore native underscore source I am giving whatever name we want to provide you can provide it native underscore source I am giving then technology from where you want to import the data sir from the Oracle you want to import the data let us go and try to select the Oracle and logical schema is what sir B107 source then click on save it okay if you go and see here I got here I got here the model but as of now do we have any tables no if you want to get the tables I can go to the reverse engineer simply if we click on this reverse engineer what will happen sir all the data all the tables whatever available the tables will be loaded here from where it is going to get it from the SCART schema in the SCART schema whatever available that will be sitting over there all the tables are came or not sir all the tables are came if you want to see the data also in this one let us go and click on the view data we can see the data whatever available okay now you people understand how to reverse engineer but my requirement is let us say I am deleting all the things again what is saying native source global customer is referenced by Referentity source global says cannot remove. Okay, now what is the error you got? You, you understand, right? Suppose primary key foreign key relationship is available. First, we need to delete the master table, then we need to delete the detail table. Okay, in, whenever I select all and if I am trying to delete it, it is trying to delete the first uh, master table. That is the reason it is, it is going to throw the error. Fine. Anyhow, you people understand one point, the point is called as how to delete the things. Now, suppose I want to import only one specific thing only I want to import. Let us say EMP table only I want. Then how I can do that? You can go for here, selective, reverse engineering. Then you can select here, then you can select this option. Then all the tables are available. Suppose today I have maybe 20 or 30 tables are available, you can select that one very easily. But tomorrow I have let's say hundreds of tables. Then how we are going to select here? That is the reason we have one more option also there that is called as mask. 
what is the mask advantage is if you know the part of the name let us say you know the part of the name as what sir EMP then go and try to select here yeah, select reverse engineering what is happening sir in that name if wherever we have the EMP that only appearing if you want to go with the starts with the EMP starts with the EMP then it is going to give what sir starts with the EMP things only if you want to go with the ends with the EMP and starts with the EMP then you can go and see it only one table is available that is EMP so like that required table you can go and you can select it and you can import it suppose EMP table alone I want it then I can go and I can do what sir reverse engineer click on S then you can see EMP table alone it is came here suppose I don't want this also I am trying to delete it I delete it now if people understand one method that method is called as what sir standard method standard method what about the other one that is called as customized method customized method in the standard method you need to notice one point you need to notice one point there is no there is no what sir knowledge model in the standard method there is no knowledge model now we are going for the customized method what do you mean by customized method right let us go and try to select first customized method whenever you selected the customized method it is expecting a knowledge model I don't have the knowledge model first you need to go and try to understand what is knowledge model knowledge model is nothing but simply a sequence of the steps a sequence of what sir steps these knowledge modules we are not creating it by default we are going to get from the Oracle where those knowledge models are available is if you go to the my computer then go to the C drive where is your installation location sir Oracle then middleware then Oracle home then then we have here ODI then we have here studio sorry I think I did wrong ODI studio Hmm. Some folder is missed here. One moment. Common, then bin XML reference. Okay, this is the folder. What is the folder, sir? SDK under the ODA SDK Software Development Kit. We have the XML reference. Now, if you go and see this one carefully, I have here different different knowledge models are available. We discussed in the introduction program how many knowledge models are there total, sir? Six knowledge models are there. Already I discussed about those things, right? Whenever you create one project, new project, at that moment also you come to understand that one. Here, new project under how many knowledge models are came? El reverse engineering knowledge models, then, then LKM. CKM, IKM, JKM, SKM. These are the knowledge models whatever available. Out of that what we are trying to understand now? RKM. Under RKM nothing is available. If you want to import you can go ahead and you can import it. You got my point? Right. Now how to import is let us say if I am going to here I am going to here let us say RKM. See this one. These are the things RKMs whatever available from here to where sir here so RKM e-business suit that means what's a directly from the EBS system directly from the EBS system if you want to import you can import it Hive, Hive means what sir it is Hadoop, Hadoop plugin Hadoop plugin then MS SQL, Netiza, Oracle BI that means OBAW, RPD corresponding thing also then what sir, Oracle, SAP Business Warehouse, SAP ERP Connections, SAP ERPs and SQL Jaitan Connection. That means any SQL supported system. That means it may be DB2 or it may be MySQL or it may be anything which supporting SQL language. Then next is what sir, Teradata like this we have the, like this we have the n number of RKMs. But if you want to import the RKM compulsory what is required sir, one project should be there. One project should be there. Here I have the project. Let us assume like I created what's one dummy project. If I want to import it, right click and go for the import knowledge module. Whenever you click on the import knowledge module, directly it is going to contact the XML reference path. See here, did I provide this path? 
automatically it is taken that one. In our case, if it is not taking also, you need to point out to that path. Then under the XML reference, what are the things are available, everything we are seeing. Now we need to go for RKM corresponding. What corresponding are that to? We want to import from the Oracle database. That is the reason I am selecting Oracle. If you are importing tomorrow from MS SQL, you need to select what sir? MS SQL, Microsoft SQL Server. Click on the OK. Whenever you click on this one, then you can see under this one, under this one we got here RKM Oracle. What are the steps are available inside that one? If you go and open this one, I am opening RKM Oracle. What it is trying to do the task? These are the tasks it is trying to do it. First, first is what sir? Get the tables from where? Let us go and try to see this one code. Don't confuse with the lot of things, sir. Right. It is getting tables from where? This is what, sir? All underscore tables is available. All underscore tables, if I go and if I query in the database, let us say, select star from all underscore tables. We got the tables or not, sir? Table, type, table name is what, table space name is what, everything we got it. That means, can I say now, all underscore tables, did you create this all underscore tables? This is what, sir, Oracle? By default, system table. Oracle by default, system table. Now, whenever I use the knowledge module, it is contacting what? System tables it is contacting and it is trying to import it. That's what in the diagram, did you notice or not? Did you notice or not in the diagram? In the diagram, whenever you use the knowledge module, reverse engineering knowledge module, it is trying to contact what, sir? System tables. All underscore tables is the one of the system table. Like this, if you go and observe the code, what will happen, sir? N number of tables it may be contacting. N number of tables it may be contacting. But time being, we, were, we are not going in that, in that depth. Am I clear? Right. As of now, as of now, code we are not understanding what is there inside that one code we are not understanding. So I am closing this one. You have the knowledge module one thing now. Once you have the knowledge module, then you can go and you can import the tables or not, sir, using customized method. Select the customize, go to the drop down, then what sir? RKM. Then I am trying to click on the reverse engineering, click on yes. Click on OK. Then what is going to happen is session started. Session started means what is happening in the operator tab sir? It is executing here knowledge module. It is executed here knowledge module. These are the steps it is executed. It is trying to get the tables. Get the tables from where sir? from all underscore tables. Get the views, get the partition, synonyms, n number of things, primary keys, foreign keys, all the things. Once it is got, where it is available, those all things. What happened? The tables are not came. Tables, views, that is fine. Some reason this failed. Previous one is not executed. What is saying here? ODA reverse set metadata. Yeah. 
some reason previous one is what sir whatever previously i ran it that is what sir it's failed that is the reason we didn't see it i ran one more time the 18th task whatever it is failed that is automatically it's for nothing change i did nothing change i did okay the only thing what i did is one change i did what is the change i did is previously you masked for what sir emp table you masked right the mask i removed that is the only change i did it now we are able to see all the tables whatever available or not sir that means we can do the importing of the tables using standard method as well as customized method time being you may be understand like which is the easiest one sir standard one is the easiest one as long as the jdbc drivers are available as long as the jdbc drivers are available we go with the standard some some database may be available no jdbc drivers at that moment go for customized method at that moment go for customized method okay i i taken that one i am trying to delete is all things i don't want these many things you can delete it so go to the all right now these things try to delete one by one some kind of master and uh, this relationships are available here okay now now i want to import only one specific table only you want to import means you can do it or multiple tables means you can do it or using reverse engineering also you can do it as of now using standard method i want to import all the things i want to import what i can do sir i can go to the reverse engineer then click on simply as yes, then all the things are going to get it here only emp we got why sir any mask is there no mask maybe i didn't save it or what okay let me give you a percentage here that means what sir all the tables percentage means all the tables click on reverse in there click on s yes. now it is giving what sir previously percentage is not there percentage is not there percentage we removed it and we given emp now all the tables came or not sir this is what what you need to learn source model similarly can you create the target model how to create the target model select this folder right click then go for a uh, new model then give the name as b107 underscore native underscore target then select your reverse engineering or you can go for the directly reverse engineering then you can click on this reverse engineering click on s yes, unable to save the failed technology sorry technology didn't selected we need to select the technology oracle this is what sir target save it then reverse engineer then we are going to get here all the tables whatever available inside the target one so target is mean nothing but what sir here tdb inside the tdb we have what sir dim tables ods tables are available those all tables might be came here if you go and see dim table dimension tables fact tables and ods tables are came today what you understand you know how to create the models you understand yes or no sir how to create the models you people understand and also you people understand how to create the contest physical architecture logical architecture and how the contest is playing the main role here you people understand okay we completed till this point of time tomorrow we'll continue rest of the things today you need to practice what sir how to communicate with the technologies today do your own research i want back end is flat file is available sir back end is one flat file one notepad is available how to get that notepad data into here try to research on that one anyhow tomorrow i am going to explain it down the line but today you research on that one okay right thank you